Hey everybody, today on Political Excess, we've got John Edwards for the Democrats up against Sarah Palin for the Republicans. This was suggested in the comments, and it's pretty far-fetched. It was difficult to do. Sarah Palin is not popular at all, even in her home state. Nationally, her brand, I think, has a very narrow appeal. John Edwards, he was a senator from North Carolina. He ran into all kinds of legal trouble. He had an affair. That's not going to be popular, but I don't think people are going to remember that too much. Of course, the Palin campaign would hit him hard on all those issues. So this was a tough one. So let's quickly go through the states. We'll talk a little bit about it as we go. And at the end, the first state is Alaska. This is Sarah Palin's home state. She was the governor. She resigned as governor. She recently tried to run for the U.S. House. And she lost twice. Now, they did switch to ranked choice voting. That makes it more difficult. On a presidential level, I think Alaska is going to be a little bit more red. And even though they don't like Palin, I think she would get a home state bounce. Now, as for John Edwards, I don't really know where he's going to stand in every modern issue. He is scandal-plagued. And I'm assuming he runs an establishment Democrat type of campaign. So considering all these factors in Alaska, I think Palin would probably just crack about a 10-point margin. So it's going to go safe for Palin. Maybe you disagree. Maybe you think it's much closer. Or maybe you think it's an even wider margin. I'm right at about 10 points. Let's go on to Hawaii. That's going to be safe for Edwards. Back up to the West Coast. Washington, Oregon, California. Safe for Edwards. Nevada. Leans for Edwards. Idaho and Utah. Safe for Palin. Arizona. Leans for Edwards. Montana, Wyoming, safe for Palin. Colorado, double digits, safe for Edwards. New Mexico, that'll be likely for Edwards. North Dakota, South Dakota, safe for Palin. Nebraska at large, low double digits, safe for Palin. The second district, that will be mid-single digits, likely for Edwards. Kansas, that'll get down at just under 10 points, probably about 9, 9.5, likely for Palin. Oklahoma, safe for Palin. How about Texas? That'll get to be about 4.5 points, leans for Palin. Minnesota, that'll be low double digits, safe for Edwards. Iowa, leans for Palin. Missouri, safe for Palin. Arkansas and Louisiana will be safe for Palin. Back up to Wisconsin, that will be leans for Edwards. Illinois, safe for Edwards. Michigan, likely for Edwards. Indiana, safe for Palin, low double digits there. Kentucky, Tennessee, Mississippi, Alabama, safe for Palin. How about down in Florida? Given the trends, I do think she would win it, but it would be by under one point, so it's tilt for Palin. Georgia, that'll be about four and a half to five points. Leans for Edwards. South Carolina, safe for Palin. North Carolina, John Edwards' home state. I don't think he's really going to be popular there, but in this matchup, I think he would get a home state boost, and he would win it by a leans margin. Let's go to Ohio. That will be leans for Palin. West Virginia, very safe for Palin. Let's go to Maine at large, safe for Edwards. The first district, safe for Edwards. The second district, that'll be leans for Edwards. New Hampshire, likely for Edwards. Now we've got the blue states, Vermont, New York, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New Jersey, Delaware, Maryland, and Washington, D.C., safe for Edwards. Next state, Pennsylvania. That'll be close to mid-single digits, but I have it as a leans for Edwards. And finally, the last state is Virginia, and that I have as about a 10-point margin, safe for Edwards. So that comes out to 320 for John Edwards, 218 for Palin. So Edwards does win this election. Now, as I said at the beginning, this was pretty difficult. You could take some different paths on this. Maybe you think John Edwards is so scandal-plagued, he does not at all excite the base. The progressives are not going to come out for him whatsoever. And then Palin does three or four points better. And maybe she flips Arizona, Wisconsin, Georgia, or North Carolina. Or maybe you think Sarah Palin is so loathed, even in her home state of Alaska, that that almost flips. Maybe Texas or Florida even flips. Maybe Wisconsin goes likely. Iowa and Ohio are in play. Maybe you think she's that week and you go in that route. So those are the two extremes. I kind of took a more middle approach and I think Palin, outside of her exciting some of the Trump base, most voters, independents, suburban voters, plenty of other demographics are just fatigued and unenthused by Sarah Palin. Now the other side is going to be enthused to come out and vote against her. John Edwards, he's not too much of a factor in here from my perspective. Again, I don't know what modern views he would have, what kind of campaign he would run on. I think it would be pretty bland and he would hope he could just fly under the radar. Sarah Palin would be animating to both sides. More so, I think, would be in opposition than in support of her. So that's how this race becomes almost a blowout for John Edwards, even though a lot of people probably don't even know who he is at this point. People do know Sarah Palin. 
and she's just a little bit too goofy, a little bit too out there to be a serious contender in this election. I also think the media would be heavily against Sarah Palin. They were in 2008. They're going to dig up a bunch of clips. They're going to spin it in the worst light possible. She has definitely said some things that are worth criticizing, but I think the coverage would be over the top. So I will concede that. And John Edwards, I don't know how much people really care about an extramarital affair from two decades ago. I'm sure he's very unexciting at this point himself, but these are both failed vice presidential candidates, and I just have a hard time seeing Edwards losing. But maybe I got this all wrong. Let me know in the comments. Do you mostly agree with this map, or do you think it's possible Sarah Palin could actually win this one? Let me know down below on your way out. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Follow me on Twitter. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.